Good day, I am Anthea Johnny V. Cablinda from BS Pharmacy 2C. Today I will be discussing about the pointing systems of bowling. Here is the example score sheet that was given to us to discuss. There are a total of 10 frames, each representing one round of the game. There are 10 pins in bowling, and each round you get two balls, two chances to strike them all out. Here in the first frame, you can see that the person playing struck out five balls in their first try and three balls in their second, which gives us a total number or total score of eight. Now we move on to the second slide. Now you can see here that the person first struck seven pins during the first round and then completely wipe out the following pins in their next round. Uh, this is what we call a spare, and you see that with the slash that is given on the scoreboards where it's supposed to be. So, basically, the person playing knocked out three balls in their next play, essentially doing all five. So, what happens during this time is that the person gets 10 plus the score of the next ball. So that leads us to 17 plus the previous score 8 which gives us a total number of 25. Now onto the third frame we get 7 plus 2 equals 9 plus the previous score 25 and then that gives us uh, 34. Uh, moving on, you that x over there that means a strike. Yeah, that basically means that the person wiped out all 10 pins on their first ball. And what this means is that you, the person gets 10 points plus the total scores of the next two balls. Add that to the previous 34 and we have ourselves 53 for our fourth score. In the fifth round, the person playing manages to knock out nine pins in their initial throw. However, they completely miss the last remaining pin in their second round, and therefore, the score that you put there is either zero or a dash. So you add the nine to 53, and that gives us 62 for our fifth score. Okay, for the sixth round, the person manages to wipe out all the pins in the given set. This is called a strike. And what happens during a strike is that you get to get the points of your next two balls. In this case, since the person gets three constructive strikes, the first strike will get 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 30. So... Add that to 62 and you get yourself uh, 92 for the 6th score. 7th frame, we get ourselves another strike. So the next 2 balls over, uh, that's an 8 and then a 9. In the 7th slide, it's another strike. So we get ourselves the 10 points from uh, the 8th round and then the nine points from the first ball of the ninth round so that gives us 10 plus 10 plus 9 plus the 92 of the previous score and that gives us 121 for the seventh score the eighth round also ends up in a strike so we're gonna take that 10 points add it to the next two rounds and then we're going to take that what we got and then we're going to add it to the 120 from the seventh slide. And that will give us a score of 141 for our eighth score. In the ninth round, we get ourselves a nine and a spare. So including the score that you get from the initial round, you also get yourself the strike from the 10th frame. Adding them together with a 141 will give us a score of 161 for the ninth round. For the 10th slide, it's supposed to be only two rounds however since we got ourselves a strike for the first throw of the ball we get to roll two more times so that's 10 plus 6 plus 2 equals 18 added 
to the 161 and that gives us a 79 leaving us with a staggering 79 total score all in all and that brings us to the end of my report once again i am anthea john Vika blinda from bs pharmacy 2c reporting on the scoring system of bowling thank you for watching